Hey guys, look, I'm vlogging from my bedroom now. Uh, look, and then you can see yourselves in my mirror, um, in my bed. Hello, how are you guys? Sorry if you can hear Millie. We went to the office of my apartment complex today, and they gave her a little bone, a little rawhide bone, and so she is chewing it up in the other room. Um, so... What was I going to say? Oh, we had class pictures today. If you're wondering why I have more makeup on than I have in the while, it's because we had pictures today. So, there's that. And, um, what was I going to talk about? Oh! Okay, there's two things I want to talk about. First, I was going to talk about, so, um, I was watching yesterday's Shay Tars video because I didn't have a chance to watch it yesterday. And uh, they went to the beach, and Shay was talking about how even though it's really nice in L.A. right now, like the weather-wise, um, the water, the Pacific Ocean, is really, really cold. And so, like, a lot of people won't go swimming there, or they'll, like, um, man, it looks like I have huge bags under my eyes right now. Um, sorry, that kind of bugs me. I look... I have not been sleeping very well. <laughs> anyway, and so it's really cold, like, so people that go swimming or, like, whatever, they wear wetsuits and you just have a lot of crazy people like her kids that go swimming. So, growing up here in Houston, um, Houston is technically, I mean, it's Gulf Coast Plains, but we're not technically on the Gulf, but we have Galveston, like, it's one of those weird things, like, Galveston, Houston, like, we're kind of, like, Galveston's was the original city. Here's a little Texas history for you, because if you don't know, you take Texas history twice while you're in school here. Um, once in fourth grade, and then in seventh grade, I believe. Sixth or seventh grade, I can't remember. I think it's seventh grade. Um, you take Texas history. Anyway, um, Galveston is like the original city uh, people like that's where they came and settled because they went through the Gulf and they landed on this island and they set up and blah 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 anyway the guy that like owned all the land of Galveston didn't want it to like expand like whatever the size was they were like you know what this is it we're done we don't want to expand we don't want to build anything new which is not the case anymore it's a pretty big city so these guys were like, you know what, forget this. So they went up the uh, bayou until they got to a point and they said, you know what, this is it. We're going to make this city and that's what happened. And now we have Houston, which is a huge city. So that's why you kind of hear a lot of times that Galveston and Houston are kind of like one city because they kind of are. I mean, they're, it's one of those complicated things. Technically, they're two different cities, but if you're from Houston, you consider Galveston like your beach, which, Yeah. So if you go to Galveston, if you're going to go to the beach, you're going to go to Galveston. And it's on the Gulf Coast. And it is like warm bath water down there. Like the water is great. Except for that you can't see anything because it's totally brown because we're on the wrong side of the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River like dumps all of the sediments from all the tributaries that come down flowing through it. And so it gets dumped in the Gulf and we're on the wrong side of it. So our water is like murky brown, like disgusting. Every once in a while you'll get like a clear blue patch or whatever. So like to me, like the Gulf, I've always just had memories of the Gulf being brown. So it was really weird when I went on a cruise this summer and we went out in the Gulf, obviously. And so the next morning when we woke up, we were in clear blue water. And oh my gosh, the Gulf is absolutely gorgeous once you get away I mean it's not even that far um out but it is like an absolute gorgeous blue I cannot even believe it if you ever have a chance to go out to the gulf like it is so beautiful and when we docked in Mexico it was still like gorgeous blue water I like I could not believe it I did not I mean I'd heard stories about how the gulf was really blue but I did not believe it and then I saw it and it was so funny we had a comedian on the ship, and it was like when we were going back into Houston, to Galveston, they were like, oh, you guys are so lucky. At like 2 in the morning, you can watch the water go from blue to brown. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the unfortunate part is that it's all brown, but it's like warm bath water. Uh, so I was going to talk about that. 
What was like another thing I was going to talk about? Oh, so being from Houston, we don't get a lot of like crazy weather days that much. I mean, it's pretty, we're in the subtropics here, like temperatures, I mean, it gets cold in the winter and it gets really hot in the summer and it's humid all year round, so it makes it even worse. So, um, <laughs> which is why my hair is always frizzy because of the freaking humidity. Um, so we had like this cold front coming in. I it was supposed to come in yesterday and it was like 80 degrees outside today, but it's supposed to come in tonight or tomorrow morning or whatever. And Friday, there is a very good possibility of snow, um, a very, very good possibility of ice. So we're kind of waiting to see like whether school is still going to happen on Friday or not. Um, it'll be interesting because if it's ice, they're probably going to cancel it just because it gets a little dangerous because people are here are not used to driving on it and it's not really good to drive on anyway. So we may not have school on Friday, which would be fun to have a three day weekend, but then it kind of stinks because you have to make the day up later. Um, so yeah, it's, sorry, I got like the hiccups or something. So it'll be pretty interesting to see if it actually snows on Friday or not. I know a lot of people are super excited, but it's one of those things where like they've called for snow before and it hasn't happened. So I'm not getting my hopes up that it's actually going to snow. It has snowed here. In fact, when I was in college, it snowed like a couple years in a row. It was kind of crazy. Um, but it's like one of those snows that like as soon as it hits the ground, it pretty much melts because it's still kind of warm outside. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I kind of hope for snow a little bit. I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. It'd be interesting. Uh, yeah, if it does snow, school will probably be canceled. It'd be good because I would really wouldn't want, blah, 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 blah. I really would not want to drive just because people don't know how to drive in snow and I don't really know how to drive in snow either. So it's kind of scary to go out on the roads. Although fun fact Here's the fun fact. Um, when you turn, if you're in the U.S., you get your driver's license at 16, but you don't know, most people don't realize this. It was, so for like a year before, when you turn 15, you can get what's called your learner's permit. And I don't know if they have this in other countries or not, but this is how they do it in the U.S. And so you get your learner's permit, and that's when you are learning to drive. And you can drive a car as long as there is a licensed adult in the seat next to you. And I think they're supposed to be 21 and over, I believe, or 18 and older or something. Um, so when I was 15, got my learner's permit, and we actually, so my brother, you can't start, so you have to take like a little bit of a course before you get a learner's permit, and then you have to take the test, and you get your learner's permit, so it takes like a little bit after you turn, and you can't start till you're 15. And my birthday's in October, and... In the U.S., we had Thanksgiving in the, the last, the fourth week of November, the fourth Thursday of November. So that year, we actually went to Colorado for Thanksgiving, and my dad took me out to his old high school, because my dad's from Colorado, uh, because the first thing you're supposed to do is, like, practice in an empty parking lot, because you have lots of space, and you can just kind of figure things out. So he took me to his old high school parking lot, because nobody was there, because it was Thanksgiving break. And it actually ended up snowing that day. So it's kind of funny, like my first day ever driving, it snowed. So it's my little thing, but it was like barely snowing. And then later when it really started snowing, obviously I was not driving anymore. So it was just, it's kind of one of those like fun little stories I get to tell people like, yeah, I drove in the snow. Um, <laughs> my first time driving. Anyway, I'm going to go because this is almost 10 minutes. And if you're still watching it, I don't know what your problem is. So I will see you guys sometime in the future. Bye!